545 on the dot. Winter, uh, we do have a wind chill, rather. Wind chill advisory in place for the Northeast Kingdom, Southern Vermont, and the Adirondacks and Seaway Valley until 10 o'clock this morning for the chance that wind chills could be around 20 to 25 below zero, at least close to it already in some places. Our actual temperatures are in the single digits and sub-zero range. Add in that wind, it feels like 15 below now in the Northeast Kingdom. Uh, same with Montreal, it feels like 13 below in Montpelier and sub-zero wind chills in the Champlain Valley, despite it being one of our warmer places. So if you're exposed to that wind this morning, Bundle up, cover up your skin because it's not good and could actually be pretty dangerous. Clear skies, it'll mean some sunshine later this morning, but unfortunately for now it means our temperatures will only continue to drop. And again, wind is around 5 to 15 miles per hour, and that means those wind chills will stay cold all day. We're in the teens today in single digits for most. We do have the sunshine for the afternoon hours. You can see in between some clouds, you're seeing some, plenty of that for this Friday, but the clouds are back late tonight and are shortly after followed by some snow. You can see late tonight and probably after dinner time or so and into the overnight hours. A nice widespread blanket of snow will push through, especially for some of our southern areas. You'll find a quick one to two inches, maybe a little bit more for our southern areas throughout the day on Saturday. It stays cloudy. Showers do become more and more scattered as Saturday goes on and they start to move out and in fact could even see a little bit of a clear up by Sunday morning. Then the snow is back and we have a couple more rounds of that in the next couple of days. We're busy here again Saturday. So tonight and into early tomorrow morning, you'll find some of that widespread snow add up to one to two inches in the Champlain Valley. It'll be pretty quick. A little bit more three or so inches as you head towards those higher elevations and further south. Then those numbers jump drastically Sunday night and into Monday as our next storm system on top of what we get for tomorrow could mean up to another additional four to six inches in the Champlain Valley and even close to eight inches for the southern part of the state. Again, that is Sunday night into Monday on top of the inch or two that we get for tomorrow. So plenty of snow on the way. Really good news for our mountains and good news as well for that little bit of a warm up won't be nearly as bitter cold to, uh, to the for the next couple of days as it is today, but it does mean our roads will be bad. So we'll be keeping an eye on those couple of systems in the coming days.